Today I'll be talking to you about earning and managing money, in particular calculating annual leave loading and bonuses. Annual leave loading is a payment that's calculated on a fixed percentage of your normal pay over a fixed number of weeks. So when you are not working, you will still be receiving pay based on your normal rate. So some common rates for leave loading uh, is 17.5%, which is found in most textbooks. Uh, and to calculate your holiday loading, you'll get your rate, 17.5%, and you'd multiply that by your normal weekly pay, and then multiply it again by your number of weeks leave. So again, I'll just write that as a decimal, which might be easier for you to use in your calculator. A bonus is an extra payment or gift that's earned by achieving a goal. So for example, if a project manager finished his project early, he may receive a bonus, or if uh, you are stocking a shop and you manage to do better or something like that, you could receive a small bonus, which could be monetary or a gift. Here are some examples. Uh, got a typo there. Uh, Jim receives holiday loading of 17.5% of four weeks pay. So I'll underline that and that. His leave loading was $996.80. Find his normal weekly pay. Well, if his holiday loading was 0 0.175, which is the 17.5%, and that's going to be over four weeks, and that will be again multiplied by his normal pay. That would be $996.80. So now that we've figured out how to calculate his normal pay, we need to then solve it. So his normal pay will be this $996.80. And you will divide by your percentage, 17 and a half. And you will also divide by your number of weeks, which is four. And putting this in the calculator, you should get $1,424. So this would be his normal weekly pay. Uh, part B is asking, find his normal hourly pay rate if he usually works a 40 hour week. Well, uh, if he earns $1,424 in a week and he works for 40 hours, we just simply divide by 40. And doing so will give you three, $36.54. So his normal weekly pay was found by getting his holiday loading divided by your percentage uh, of holiday pay and you divide by the number of weeks and to find the hourly rate of pay then you divide that amount by how many hours you work. Chloe's annual salary is $72,800. Calculate her weekly wage. Well, let's get this out of the way. If we have $72,000 dollars and 800, that's her annual salary. So to calculate weekly, there are 52 weeks in a year. So we are going to divide by 52 and we end up with $1,400 per week. For part B, holiday loading is calculated at 17.5% of four weeks pay. Calculate Chloe's holiday loading. Again, that's 17.5% of four weeks of her weekly pay, which is $1,400. And this will come out to be $980. So over four weeks, she would earn $980. Part C, Chloe's employer has proposed to increase her annual salary by 1%. So keywords here are increase 1%, and again, that's her annual salary. What is Chloe's new annual salary? Well, her normal annual salary is 72,800. If we are increasing by 1%, so we're doing 101% or in decimal form 1.01. .01. Doing this in the calculator will get you $73,528. Part D. The increase in Chloe's annual salary is compensation for removing holiday loading. 
Explain why Chloe is worse off financially with the 1% increase. So her, whoever's paying her is offering her either the 1% increase or the holiday loading. Well, let's find out how much that 1% increase actually comes to. So if I do 1% or 0 0.01 of her annual salary, it will come out to be $728. Now, her holiday loading was $980, which is more than her 1% increase. So, the holiday loading is greater than the 1% increase of her salary, which is 980 is more than $728. And that would be why Chloe should rather choose the holiday loading. Sorry. Uh, because the holiday loading is more money than the 1% increase.